Hey guys, for this selection box science experiment, we are going to make one of these, a candy cane. We're not going to go down to the shops, we're going to make it from scratch. And these are the raw ingredients you're going to need. You need some sugar, which is actually sucrose. Every molecule of sugar, it's got 12 atoms of carbon, 22 atoms of hydrogen, and 11 atoms of oxygen. So we need 300 grams of that. We need 50 ml of water and we need 120 ml of golden syrup. And all of that goes into a bowl. Get all that in there. Lovely stuff. And the water. And the sugar. All right, and get to stirring that all together. Now, as well as this, we need to add a bit of flavoring. And I like peppermint candy canes, so I'm gonna add in a good old glug of peppermint essence. Stick a bit of that in, good stuff. Now there's one last ingredient which is very important that we need to put in here as well, and that's something called cream of tartar. We only need a little bit of this, just, just a little bit of a sprinkling. That's probably about enough. Give that a really good stir. And that is your candy cane mixture ready to go. Now this makes an awful lot of candy canes. You probably only need about a third of this mix for one batch. So that goes into a saucepan. That's probably about enough. Right, so we want to stir this. It's going to take kind of three or four minutes. It's over a medium heat right now. You can see it's quite a cloudy solution. We want to keep going until this lightens off. What we're doing is we're trying to dissolve all the sugar into the water. We want to dissolve all that sugar in and create a saturated solution. Basically as much sugar as you can possibly dissolve in the water as possible. You can see it's starting to get a little bit lighter at the moment. Okay, so that's had a few minutes now and you can see it's turned to a really clear thin liquid. That's perfect. So that is our saturated solution. Now I'm going to stop. You want to go for about nine minutes or so until the colour starts to change. And what's going to happen now is all the water that's inside is going to evaporate off. And as the water evaporates off there's more sugar in there than it can actually hold. And now it's called a super saturated solution. And that's just what we want. Okay. This has been on there for ages and it's just started to turn colour, so I know it's ready. Now this next bit is quite tricky, I recommend you get a friend or a brother or a cousin, anyone to help out. So I've got a little elf that's going to come in and help with this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pour half of the mixture onto a pre-oiled tray, okay? So I've already covered this in oil, so that's going to go on there. I'm going to pass that to the elf and I'm going to mix a bit of red food colouring in with this half. And uh, I just want to hold that, we'll give that a good old stir. Okay, so that's now red, and we'll pour that on there. And that's for you. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure, number one, that it stays on the tray, because this stuff is sticky, and we're going to just start moving it around the tray, and this starts to get it cooling down. Now as it cools down, it gets thicker, it turns into a solid. If this was pure sugar, pure sucrose, you'd get really big crystals forming when it turns into a solid. That would not be nice, that gives a really grainy texture to your candy cane. So that's why you added the cream of tartar and the golden syrup. That stops all those big crystals, it's nice, nice smooth texture. It's the same reason you put butter into toffee, it makes it nice and smooth. Okay, so it has now gone nice and Thick. So now it's time to get mixing. All you do is you pick it up and you move it into a kind of a, a sausage shape like that and then you go up to your partner. How are you doing Elf? That's a fat one. Nice. And you stick it next to each other like this. And then you twist. And this is how you make that classic candy cane twist. Just keep twisting it as it gets thinner and thinner like that. Takes a bit of practice, takes a few goes. Okay. 
that is definitely starting to look like a candy cane. And then you just need to shape it. Pop it on there. So, those ones turned out pretty well actually. This does take a little bit of practice. These were the first ones that we made, and then these were the next ones that we made. These were our third batch, and these are our fourth batch. And to be honest, I think this one is pretty close to the original. So, you just need to pop this in the fridge so it goes nice and hard, but I tell you what, I would always prefer to make my own than go and buy one in the shop. Good luck with your candy canes, guys.